Okay, I cannot take Jeff anywhere. Again? Again! <laughs> At least he's got tennis shoes on. You're just making it worse. Okay, now you gotta things here. Yeah, man. <gasps> ow, 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 ow! <laughs> ow! <laughs> ow! <laughs> Oh, that thing was stuck. Ripper. Holy criminy, that was stuck. Okay, that is the last time I try to rescue him. That hurt! We're out of here. We gotta get out of here. Okay. That hurt Watch bad. That hurt so bad. God, that thing was stuck. No joke, it was in my skin. <laughs> I'm not rescuing you no more. That means TV, movie, commercials, music videos. We're all done here in Arizona. Today's adventure has brought us to the Apache Trail and it goes through the Superstition, superstition Mountains. That's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, and our first stop today is the Superstition Mountain Museum, <laughs> which is uh, really nothing was here to start with. It's all a bunch of artifacts from around the area. And I'll tell you what, it just kind of caught our eye as we were driving down the road and we like, ah, let's stop. And actually it's a really a great stop. There is a lot here. The museum inside is $7 a person. Um, everything outside is by donation only. So they have little donation boxes all around. Um, definitely, you know, drop them a few bucks here and there. That'd be really mm -hmm. nice. Um, and it's volunteers with tons of information. I yes. mean, they just love talking about this place <laughs> because, you know, they're working on it and they're mm -hmm. hands on. So they also have um, artifacts from what they called Apache Land. And that was a movie set that over 1200 Western movies were filmed. And that was a couple miles down the road. But there's a big barn that is in, that's here that they moved because Apache Land had two fires and it burned down most of it, but they've, you know, restored some of it. So that's pretty cool. I mean, they got pictures of all the actors yeah. that, you know, made films here. So, or at Apache Land. All right, why don't we continue on? Let's go. Down Our the uh, destination is Tortilla Flats. Tortilla Flats. We're Flat. gonna uh, grab mm -hmm. some lunch up there. It looks pretty cool from what we've seen. We got recommendations to go there, so we're going. Are you going to try to beat your 1900? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Okay. <laughs> oh. High score again. Everywhere I go, I get high score. You want to think that's high score? He didn't even beat the ladies. Oh, <laughs> Those aren't real numbers. <laughs> that's the real number to beat. <laughs>
next stop was just up the road from the museum, Goldfield Ghost Town. Yeah, and I believe it was an old mining town, but now it's just full of like little gift shops and stuff like that. They do a mine tour, it's $10 a person. There's a train ride that's $10 a person. Um, you can zip pan, line. there's a zip line, I'm not sure how much that was. There's a museum that was what, $7 a person, yeah. $6 a person, something like that. Um, there you can pan for gold here and just all kinds of little Yeah, yeah just a, a good little to um, you know if you're out on a bike ride you know motorcycle ride or just driving mm -hmm. by whatever just kind of something to get out of town and do and um, ice cream shop restaurant yeah um, there yeah the saloon so, restaurants yep yeah kind of a nice little place um, mm -hmm. today it's not too busy we're here on a Wednesday yeah not um, too so bad it's really nice yeah so let's continue up the Apache Trail let's do it Goldfield Ghost Town and working our way up the Apache Trail and we came across Lost Dutchman State Park. So they have camping there and um, they have 10 hiking trails that range from like a quarter of a mile to five miles in length. So there's lots to do there. Um, you can stay up to 14 days in a 30 day period at the Lost Dutchman and it is 40 miles east of Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, um, there's a feat of get in. Um, I don't know yeah. what it is. We just it, it doesn't say little, on the little map here. We went through the little roundabout deal and turned around yeah. um, and picked up a map just so we could tell you about it. So. so, if you're interested in staying at the Lost Dutchman, check it out. Saddle up, baby. Saddle up? <laughs> wow, bring back memories. So where are we at? Tortilla Flats Bar and Grill. And basically all the walls, everything is covered with $1 bills. I do believe there's over $350,000 and one dollar bills is what I heard. We'll verify that, hopefully. We will be leaving a dollar two, or two, on the wall. Because that's really cool, and I need to do it. Let's see if we can scrounge up a buck. It's the little things in my life that make me happy. And we're gonna get prickly pear gelato later, after our burger. What you got there, baby? Got my dollar I'm gonna stick on the wall to the 400,000 other ones. So we were told if we came to Tortilla Flat to get the gelato, the prickly pear gelato, and it is delicious. It is made from the fruit of the prickly pear cactus itself. And this is natural color. It's, it's beautiful pink and it is delicious. It's not sweet. I had some prickly pear fudge and it was kind of sweet. So, but this is really good. So I highly recommend if you find prickly pear gelato or prickly pear ice cream maybe even to get it because it's super good. So I just finished my prickly pear gelato. It was fantastic. Once again, make sure you get some if you ever come here. Or if you ever see it, prickly pear gelato or prickly pear ice cream, it was delicious. <laughs> I'm afraid to get close. I'm getting it now. They are adorable. Baby Rattlers, this is 
the only rattle I'll get close to. Baby rattlers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So Jeff seems to think that he needs a leather vest to go with that hat that he found in Tucson. Problem or is, no, Tombstone, sorry. Yeah, the problem is I didn't get the hat, so why would I need a vest now? So as you know, we made it to Tortilla Flats. The population here is six. <laughs> six people live in Tortilla Flats, Arizona. So we just had lunch at the restaurant here in Tortilla Flat, the only restaurant here, and it was delicious. We had the- Western burger. The Dutchman barbecue burger is what it was called. Yes. And it was delicious. Jeff had onion rings and I just had regular fries and it was very, very good. Um, I they had the, have uh, snake venom beer. Yeah, I was just gonna say they have two of their own beers that they brew here, whatever, in Tortilla Flat, right? I, I don't is know that all the local facts. Beer? It's the only place you can get those two beers. I don't know if they brew it here or not, but it's their beer. Their beer. So it's the only place that you can get it. So it was pretty good. Yeah, had the that was snake venom. It was it was pretty good. Tia Flat also um, is on the um, Apache Trail, and it was used by the Apache Indians. And then it was a stagecoach stop for the stagecoaches. And then when they were building the dam, the workers and everything would come and get their supplies here. The restaurant, it was it was more of a town back then when they were building the dam. Yeah, it's kind of a, a stop and a place they stayed for uh, mm -hmm. when they were building the Roosevelt yeah. Dam. Yeah, so that was kind of cool. It's about 17 miles away from Apache Junction in Arizona. Yeah, um, great little day trip and- Oh, the road? Uh, yeah, really windy. The road, road is very windy. I think I read that it has 147 turns in 17 miles. And when it says 15 miles an hour, they mean 15 miles an hour. It's very, very sharp. Yes. So, and no rig over 40, 40 feet. feet. So just FYI, there is camping up here, but no rig over 40 feet. So just FYI. But if you're ever in the Phoenix area, Mesa area, whatever yeah. in this area. Mm, great day trip. It's a great day trip. What do these people need to do, baby? Smash the like button. Smash it hard. Smash, smash, smash. Subscribe. Give us a comment. Share this video if you'd like to. And we will see you next week. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.